Hi, my name is Mustafa Qaddura. Today I will talk about solving partial differential equations using physics informed neural networks. Partial differential equations, PDEs, are essential components for developing accurate models and digital twins for complex real world systems. On the other hand, over the past decade, neural networks were proven to be a powerful tool for tackling diverse computational tasks. In the middle, we have neural PDE. A neural PDE is a partial differential equation where a neural network defines its solution function. Physics-informed neural networks offer a powerful approach for solving PDEs efficiently. In this video, we will learn how to solve a neural PDE using physics-informed neural network approach in Julia programming language. A general partial differential equation can be defined as follows. The goal is to find the solution function u, which satisfies the equation over the computational domain. In physics-informed neural networks, we replace the solution function u by a neural network and optimize its weights such that the following condition is satisfied. When satisfied efficiently, a neural network becomes a solution for the differential equation. We can apply this approach in Julia programming language through four steps. First step is to define a PDE system, including the equation, boundary and initial conditions, and the computational domains. Second step is to define a neural network architecture. Next, combining step number one and step number two, we convert the PDE system into an optimization problem. And finally, we select an optimization algorithm and we solve the optimization problem. To illustrate the process, let's consider the 1D wave equation over the following initial and boundary conditions, and let's see how to code it in Julia. I will start by defining my parameters, which are time t and spatial location x, and I will define my variables, which are my function u, and I will define three derivatives, which are dxx, the second derivative with respect to x, and dtt, which is the second derivative with respect to time t, and dt, which is the derivative with respect to time. First step is to define my differential equation. So I will start by typing my 1D wave equation. And then I have my boundary and initial conditions defined as follows. And I have two domains, the time domain and the x domain. I have t ranging from 0 to 1. And I have x as well ranging from 0 to 1. For discretization, I will use dx equal to 0 0.1. And then I will define my independent variables, which are time and x. And my dependent variables, which is u. And now I will combine everything and define my equation. I'll use my equation, my boundary conditions, domains, independent variables, and dependent variables. Second step is to define my neural network architecture. I have two domains, time and space, so the dimensions will be equal to 2. And I will choose 16 nodes in each internal layer. And here I will define my neural network architecture using the looks uh, function. I will choose to have 
three uh, layers using the sigmoid activation function. So here's layer number one, layer number two, and layer number three. And for the discretizer, I will use the physics informed neural network. Using my neural network and for grid training, I will use DX. And I have completed defining my neural network. Third step is to convert my PDE system into an optimization problem, which can be done in one step. And I will call the PDE system that I created in step number one, and I will create the discretization that I have created, discretizer that I have created in step number two. And finally, the last step is to define our optimization algorithm and set up the solution. For the optimizer, I will, I will use the BFGS algorithm. BFGS. And for setting up my uh, optimization problem, I will use optimization.solve. And I will call the problem that I have created in step number three. And I will call my optimizer opt, which I just created right now for the max eaters. I will use 12,000. And here we go. For plotting, I will just add this, this block of the code which will plot the results, and I will click on Run. Finally, this is the results. This code was adopted from siaml.ai, and a copy of the guided workflow is posted on my GitHub. Thank you for watching.